subscribe. Also, hit the bell button so you don't miss any videos. Hello everyone, it's Miwako. Welcome back to my channel. On today's video, we are going to make another little twin star craft. This time we're gonna make like a photo kind of card holder made out of resin. I start by mixing pink and blue pigments with resin and a lot of glitter in different molds. I use a specific clear glitter for each color because uh, one of them had a pink hint and the other one had a blue hint. So I use the blue hint for Kiki and the pink one for Lala. Yeah, you see me here pouring more resin, I'm adding more glitters and I just keep mixing until I have it ready for start pouring on this super cute mold. I want to let you know that all the molds that I will be using on these videos are from the past Sophie and Toffee boxes. Now it's time to pour. The mix between pink and blue looks so, so cute. Uh, I had never done a two colors mix before. I had to make a second batch again of this because I just didn't have enough. Um, here I'm just using this tool just to kind of like mix it up a little bit and then I'm curing it for maybe I think it was um, two minutes and as you can see it's very very glittery, it's super shiny and it's just so so cute. I really love that this mold is very clear, I think I have said it before, it's one of the most clearest uh, molds I ever have from Sophie and Toffee. I was really surprised and happy with the results. As you can see, it's very sparkly. I really like the glitters that I use. So now I'm just trying to do the black outlines of this resin with black pigment and resin. For doing these black outlines, let me tell you that I try to do um, the outlines in other color. I think it was brown and I tried different techniques because I didn't have black acrylic paint so that's why you can see the charm a little bit stained here you see me applying the rest of the black uh, pigment resin in all of the uh, outlines of the of this mold I basically cover the whole thing then I use a makeup uh, wipe and then I start uh, wiping the charm trying not to uh, remove the black stains that I just made. Then I just cure it with my lamp and then I start adding this coat of clear uh, UV resin that we also got on the other Sophie and Toffee box from the uh, Sakura Latte. The reason why I'm using this one instead of the regular resin is only because I really don't have enough uh, regular UV resin so I didn't want it to use the rest of it just for that. And here you can see me uh, adding the rhinestones. Uh, I'm adding the smallest rhinestones that I got on a kit that I got on AliExpress. I really like these rhinestones because they kind of look real and it gives it a very nice touch. I start adding also a small rhinestones on the Kiki's crown. I'm also going to be using stars, embellishments for Kiki's crown and Lala's hair. It gives it another nice touch. I also found this very cute star charm that actually fits perfect. You can see it's starting to look very very cute. It gives it a very nice dimension. And here again I'm using the lamp. I'm going to use this star mold that I got on Aliexpress. It's actually a shaker mold in form of a star. I'm using the smallest side of that mold to make a base. I really like this yellow color mixed up with the glitters. It's very, very sparkly and I just love it a lot. I'm adding a yellow pigment. I'm using clear glitters, also UV resin. I'm gonna start mixing a lot of resin. Now I'm adding it into the mold. I made a second batch because I just had so little mix. Uh, 
and then I use my lamp then as you can see it turns out so so cute it's time to demolding because everybody kind of loved this part um so yeah here you have it it's perfect honestly it's perfect it's so shiny and i don't even have used any glaze now i'm taking the little twin star charm and i'm adding resin to the base and onto the charm to uh, join the two pieces together and i start using the lamp now i'll be using the other sophie and toffee mold that we got on the wizard d box so i'm mixing clear resin i am also adding pearl pigments i am not uh, filling the whole mold with the resin i'm only doing half because i only want just a little bit of the stuff from this mold so yeah you see me here uh, clearing a little bit of the mold and then i'm using the lamp it turned out hard so and now i'm taking it out of the mold and kind of clearing it up a little bit taking off uh, the excess then i'm using some scissors to make it even and there you go now i'm using some uv resin and then i'm applying it as a glue so i can stick them together and then i will be using my lamp and i'm gonna cure it i'm also using uv resin on the bottom and on the top and on the sides just to secure it Now I'm using one of my first Sophie and Toffee boxes, uh, I think it was the Magical Bottle. It has a star with the wings and I decided to use that as a charm for this piece. So I'm using the leftover resins for these molds, the yellow from the stars and the clear resin from the staff. As you can see it turned out very very cute and it actually matches with the rest. I added resin to the bottom of the staff and then I attach it to the shard and then I use my lamp then I grab this paper clip that by the way I got it from my work <laughs> I add a UV resin to the clip so I can attach the star sham that we just made as you can see I'm trying to place it in the middle and then I use the lamp I wish I had a better clip for this sharp, but I was working with what I had. Then I used the remaining uh, resin for the back. I keep using all of my remaining resin for all this piece. That's why you see me using the same ones over and over. As you can see, it's almost complete. I'm using again the remaining resin uh, to attach both pieces. And I'm curing it again. I added more resin all around the star on the staff so I can uh, secure it a lot better. Then I decided to use the star embellishments on the staff because I thought that it kind of looked plain. Like I had no idea if I should have leave it like the staff like that with that color. I wanted to give it more life to the staff. Here I use a moon embellishment and a rhinestone and i put it where there was a hole on the mold to kind of hide it and here i keep using my remaining resin with the yellow pigment on the veins of this staff i just thought that the staff looked very very white so here i just decided to kind of give it a little bit of more color i finished doing this and used the lamp and i was done and here you have it guys what do you think about it i hope you like this little twin star craft as much as i do so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you like it like and subscribe to my channel if you want to watch more kawaii craft or more kawaii content on this channel thank you very much again for watching and i hope to see you guys next time bye bye